you make fun of my tree, I can put you on my quiz correction videos by scanning your quiz and then showing everyone else your picture. So, thanks for not laughing about my tree. The angle of depression. So, I asked you guys to draw Tarzan, and Tarzan should be in the top of your tree. Because the reason why that's helpful is because Tarzan just stares out into space. I guess not in space, just looks out looking for Jane. Did you answer all those questions right on Rebel TV? Okay, and then I'll draw your long hair. See? Long hair there. So the angle of depression, I know. This is the angle of depression from the line of sight and then looking down at the ground. So I'm going to call this the ground. Is there an object, as it say? The angle of depression from the top of the tree to a point on the ground is 15 point feet from the base of the point. So the angle of depression, angle of depression is right there, from the top of the tree <coughs> to a point on the ground, this is my point on the ground, is on the ground 15.5 meters from the base of the tree. So this point, and from the base of the tree, you can call that base if you want. Remember, base is like bottom or like your feet. Your feet are at the bottom of your body. So this would be 15.5 meters. I have a right triangle here. And then it says um, from the base of blah, blah, blah. So we've talked about how you can kind of eliminate. It's kind of confusing. Whoops, I wrote tree twice. The angle of depression from the top of the tree to a point on the ground. I shouldn't have highlighted the ground. Well, let's pick a different color. So if I can take out that green part, let me read it to you again. The angle of depression from the top of the tree to a point on the ground uh, is 60.4 meters. So I'm going to label this one 60.4 Three, sorry, not meters. Now remember, angle of depression is looking straight out, then looking down. If you put your uh, here in the top of this triangle, that would be incorrect. Find the height of the tree. So they want to know what x is. Now, I'm going to solve this problem in two ways, and you can kind of pick which one makes sense for you. I have a yellow triangle. And I have this pink triangle. And you don't have to solve it in both colors. I just want to try to show you what's happening. And then you can kind of pick which one makes more sense for you. OK, triangle number one, the yellow triangle. I have x, and I have 15.5. The class, I don't have an angle up here. Should I write 60.4? The answer is no. This is a right angle, and two angles added together, that's called a complementary angle. So this angle plus 60.4 should equal 90. If I subtract 60.4, I can find the complement. That gives me 29.6. This angle up here is 29.6 degrees, and then I can use this triangle to solve for x. Let's say we did the pink triangle. This is also a right angle, and I have 60.4 degrees as my angle of depression, but notice how I don't have anything else labeled. Now we can use properties of a parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent, so I can put an x over here. I can put a 15.5 up there. And it doesn't matter which triangle you use to solve. You'll actually see that you get both the same answer. So class, do you have to use both triangles? No. Raise your hand if the yellow one makes more sense to you. Raise your hand if the pink one makes more sense to you. OK, let me work out the yellow one. And then I'll do the pink. And you'll see that we get the same answer. So this is my starting point. I have the opposite. And I have the adjacent, so I'm going to use tangent of 29.6 degrees 
equals the opposite over the adjacent. So that would be 15.5 over x. And then if I cross multiply, because I'm solving for a side, I get x times tangent 29.6 degrees equals 15.5. And then if I divide both sides by tangent of 29.6, I get a calculator-ready equation. x equals 15.5 over tangent 29.6. Now, I'm eventually going to put this in the calculator, but I'm just first going to uh, solve the pink triangle. Okay, let's say now the pink triangle makes more sense to you. This is your starting point. You have the opposite class this one is called the adjacent and which trig function if we have OA tangent so tangent of 60.4 degrees equals the opposite over the adjacent and then because I'm solving for a side I can cross multiply x is equal to the tangent of 60.4 degrees times 15.5. And we're going to go ahead and round. It doesn't tell us how to round, but I noticed that there are one decimal place or tenths in my picture, so I can have that as my answer. Let's put that in there. Extra set of parentheses, 15.5 divided by open parentheses, tangent 29.6 the worst thing you can do tomorrow on your quiz is to come up to me and ask me is this what you do on your calculator and I would say I don't know because we're telling you how to do that right now so if you round to the nearest tenth what do you get class 27.5 uh, degrees box my answer Let's go ahead and do the other side now. Tangent 60.4, uh, parentheses, tangent 60.4 times 15.5, close parentheses, press enter, and you get rounded to the nearest tenths. It is, oh my goodness. Wait, x is on a degrees. <laughs> Class, look. We got the same answer using a different angle. So class, does it matter which triangle we use? No, it doesn't. So just remember, angle of depression looks down. This is your angle of depression. This is not.